Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Need for Speed Most Wanted running on Intel HD 520 graphics in a Core i7-6500U. You can see here we are running at 1366 by 768 and low detail settings, and this is the later Most Wanted made by Criterion uh, of sort of burnout fame. And while frame rates not too bad, we're typically over 30 frames per second, you'll see I am hitting an awful lot of objects here and struggling to control the car. Um, that's because for whatever reason, maybe the game wants to be running at sort of a 60 frame per second lock, but I found I had really bad lag on the, um, on the controller uh, and was really struggling to play the game, struggling to make turns, all the rest. Um, so I'm going to say really it's not a playable experience on Intel HD 520 with this title. Um, if you do want to play a game like this, I've previously tested Burnout Paradise. That works really nicely. Um, absolutely smooth, really playable. So I'd say if you're looking for a title of this ilk to play, I'd take a look at Burnout Paradise. Give Need for Speed Most Wanted a miss. Um, on the other hand, uh, I don't know if it still is, but this title was free on Origin um, for a time limited period. So it may just be worth checking it out, you know, grab it. If you ever get a PC that will run on adequately, then at least you've got the game. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my channel for more games running on Intel HD 520 graphics and other graphics solutions. And be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in future. Thanks for watching.